Hey, I'm Rob, I'm 17, and I'm looking forward to um, find out about the hire industry. I don't really know much about the hire industry, but I'm looking forward to my tour around Auckland. Well, to find out more about the hire industry, Rob's up bright and early to meet hire industry expert, Rory Jackson. Rory's my name. Uh, Rob, so you, so you come to find out a bit about the hire industry. Yeah, no, it looks pretty interesting, eh? I like to sort of get into it. Yep, you've got a big day ahead of you. Yeah. yeah Why don't you yeah. come inside and we'll see this. They're going to take a ticky tour around a handful of Auckland's hire companies, companies Rory's chosen to illustrate the huge variety in gear that can be readily hired. The sorts of things that we look for are uh, good presentation, uh, so somebody that uh, is well groomed, and people who are self-motivated and willing to be part of a team. New Zealand's hire industry offers enormously wide career opportunities. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The hire industry is really varied. Um, you can hire everything from a teaspoon to a 20 tonne digger, yeah. even larger sometimes. Rob's starting the day at the sort of general equipment hire facility that's commonplace everywhere. First off, there's checking and cleaning equipment that's been out on a hire. So what actually is this machine? Is it a... This is a belt sander. Yeah. These are used by painters to sort of sand back weather boards and they come back pretty grubby as you can see, pretty much covered in dust. Yeah. And uh, quite often need to be cleaned. After the equipment is returned, there's a physical inspection of both the gear and its cable and a test for electrical safety. Um, customer focus is very important. Um, hire companies generally have similar equipment. The only difference at times is the person that's actually hired the equipment to them and the rapport that they were able to build with that customer. Rob's given the chance to deal with a customer who wants to hire a trailer. G'day, how's things going? Good, thank you. My name's Rob. Dave's my name. So, um, so what are you after for today? I'm after a furniture trailer. Yep. For the week. No problems for Rob here. Sort of, um, He's friendly sort of and confident of and not afraid to yep, get so out in the yard and get yeah, stuck so in. Yep. So with furniture on the move, Rob's on the road too. Next stop, Komatsu, New Zealand's leading earth moving equipment supplier. Jeff O'Leary is the company's operator trainer. G'day, Jeff. How How's you going, going, mate? Oh, good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too, mate. Yeah. This is Rob. Rob, this Rob, is Jeff. Rob, nice to meet you, mate. You Welcome too. to Komatsu. Yeah. So, this is some of the product. We've got wheel loaders, excavators, dozers. Yep. We're, um, Komatsu New Zealand is a major supplier to the hire industry. Yeah. Especially in the bigger product. Yep. When Komatsu deliver new equipment to hire companies, Jeff trains the operators so that they can get the best out of it and operate it safely. Today it's Rob that's up for training on a shiny new PC35. And this uh, makes your tracks walk, forward and back. So I mean if I push like that yep. and that just moves this right one. Yep, and exactly. And then if I do them together they go both. Yep. Yeah, sweet. And the idea of using your feet, you can use your hand controls at the same time when yep. you're more experienced. With some thorough instruction, mm. Rob's then given a go. Big yeah. Hey Rob, you're a natural. Are you ready for the big stuff? That was great. That was heaps of fun. That was awesome. You did a good yeah. job. Yeah. We've got a bigger one here now. This is a 20 ton PC200. Diggers like these could be used for road building, landscaping, right. drainage, dredging or demolition. Here Rob's loading the hopper of a rock crusher. Jeez, Rob, you're pretty sharp in that digger. How'd you enjoy that? Yeah, nah, it was awesome, yeah. Pretty yeah. good on the PlayStation as well? Oh, yeah, sort of. Played a little when I was younger. Incidentally, uh, while you were in the digger, uh, the camera crew were using these machines behind us. This is called a knuckle boom here, and it says lift over there. Anywhere a high platform is needed for a particular job, this is the gear to do it. So Rob's back on the road to find out more. Hey, Rob, here we are at a specialist access hire division, where they uh, hire out equipment such as knuckle booms, scissor lifts, scaffolding. Oh yeah, so um, who would use this sort of equipment? Uh, it's used by builders and uh, sparkies, painters, yeah. um, pest control, or any situation where you need to work at height to get your job done. Oh yeah. Are you scared of heights, mate? Oh, uh, not really. Not really? Well, I hope not, mate, because you're going up in one of those bad boys right there oh, for yeah, a bit of a play around. But first, there's a safety list to be checked out. The oil is inspected, there's a visual once over, and a check that all safety signage is in place. Keith Galloway will show Rob how to head for the heights. No matter what direction you're heading, always watch where you're going. That's why the floors are all grated like this, so you can actually see directly below you. Yeah. Just slow down on your top boom. That's it. Beauty. Steady hand. <laughs> yeah, no, it looks it's pretty cool up there. Pretty good view. <laughs> no, you got the nerves going a bit. Rob's on the road again, 
this time off to Edward Sound Systems, who hire audio, visual and event staging equipment. So Rob, do you enjoy going to parties, mate? Oh yeah, do I what? Yeah. <laughs> you know, there seems to be a lot of stuff here that I'd love to get my hands on. <laughs> yeah, well the event and party industry is a pretty broad industry. In fact, equipment for events is a big part of the hire industry, and you can hire anything from a marquee to a wine glass, or here at Edwards, sound and lighting gear. You can hire equipment to operate yourself, and try your hand at becoming the best DJ in town. So that's some pretty wicked stuff you got here. And if you want the full bells and whistles, there's a party demonstration room. The hire industry would appeal to anybody really, uh, but depending on the interests of the person, would, would uh, tend to uh, tend to gravitate towards a particular part of hire. Somebody's interested in engineering, they've got their the mechanical side that they could go down. If somebody's interested in catering, sound. Uh, technical equipment, interested in working at, you know, at height or working with large machinery, there's, uh, there's access and large equipment sort of sides that they could, they could look at. Personally I was interested in dealing with people face to face and, and customer service, so that's what I gravitated towards. And other people when they came into the industry were more mechanically inclined, so that's the way that they went. Yeah, I think Rob will go a long way in customer service. He um, seemed to pick up the operation of the diggers pretty easily. Um, and he looked particularly comfortable in the disco room. I'm just uh, sorry he didn't get up and dance. Generally, Rob's got the right people skills for the industry. No, I didn't really have any idea of the sort of range you can sort of offer in the high industry. Oh, I have to say, um, the digger driving was pretty, pretty sweet, and um, the disco was pretty good. I'm sure I could sit at doing it maybe in the future, it'd be good. There's no mandatory qualifications for entering the higher industry. All training is learnt on the job. It's a people industry, so establishing a good rapport with your customers and workmates is important. The hire industry is vast, so no matter what your skill set is, chances are there will be something to suit you and your particular skills. With the right attitude, aptitude and interests, promotion prospects are good and you will find your efforts can be very well rewarded. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.